today is Thursday, which is my second favorite day of the week because it's the day before Friday. And Friday is my first because it's always our day off. They continually give us Friday off, and we uh, go play Magic, so I like Fridays a lot. Today we are going over to the Bojangles that just opened up a few weeks ago to meet with Austin and eat lunch. Then he's going to come back over to the house, and we're going to uh, work on putting together a, a deck for him. He's been playing blue-white, but he doesn't have all the necessary cards to play blue-white. And playing blue-white requires a buttload of money. So he's not really feeling that now, because while it is a fun deck to play, like he needs cards and stuff that cost way too much money. So he's going to do an Abyssal Persecutor deck. And he's already got the uh, Persecutors, he just needs to get the other cards to put it together. So we're going to see what I have, and put everything together, and if we still need something, we uh, might actually ride down to uh, Dueling Grounds in Sakusti and pick up necessary singles. So we will uh, we will see how it goes. There's a fly on your chicken. Oh. I like this food. Also, Austin's here. Mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of the people that watch this are south enough to. Like see the Bojangles. I know some people are, but I think like 80% of people have probably never been to a Bojangles. We went down to a uh, dueling ground and we pulled in and they were closed. Which sucks really bad because we drove like 25 minutes to get there. And I go up and look at the door and I look in and I don't see anybody and there's no hours posted and we just kind of sit in the car for a second and we're like, ah. And then someone walks out of the store. And we're like, hey, are you open? He's like, no, we don't open till 5, but do you guys need something? So luckily, out of the blue, we managed to catch the owner who had gone in like for just a few minutes. And we managed to get our singles, which is awesome. It was very lucky. Now Austin is pretty much done with the Abyssal Persecutor deck. Um... And uh, me and Mao got some other stuff for ourselves. And when we got home, we saw the FedEx truck driving around. And Mallory got her bag for her DSLR camera. She doesn't have the camera yet. But she has the bag. And the bag is a good first step. That photo is of my ankle. It is of an anklet that was placed on my ankle July 16th, 2008. Um, me and Mallory had been dating for just four months, and it was the second time that we had been together in person. Um, the first being June, the second being July. We were uh, with everyone uh, from Starman.net at the Starman.net convention that takes place annually. Um, Mallory made me that anklet, and... Um, she put it on me, and uh, I have worn that anklet for two years. It was a little weird getting used to it at first, but uh, eventually it just became a part of me, and for the entire length of the vlog, I've been wearing that anklet. As I said, I had it put on July 16th, 2008. Well, I am sad to say that tonight the anklet is broken. This is the anklet. I'm actually kind of surprised that it lasted two years. It was a very long time, and the thing is very, very, very worn out. It was kind of holding on by just a few threads. And it didn't fall off, actually. I broke it accidentally uh, at work. Obviously, a colorful thing like this isn't something you want to wear on the outside, so I keep it tucked in under my sock. And today I was taking my socks off, and I had hold of this and didn't know it, and as I pulled, it snapped. It's actually kind of sad. I mean, almost the entire time I've dated Mallory, I've worn this anklet, and now it's gone. But maybe it's symbolic of sorts. I'll just think of it as moving into a 
new phase of our relationship. We'll just say that this was the beginning of the relationship and now that this thing has snapped we're moving forward to bigger and better and more long-term things. I can make you another one. She doesn't want to move forward. <laughs> Besides that, uh, the day was pretty good. Work wasn't good, but honestly, I... Is work ever good? Work is never good, no. Oh, uh, for you folks that uh, saw the other day, I saw Ravioli Boy again today. I did. He, uh, I, you have to run trays at Krabba's whether or not it's your food. You just walk up there and get trays if you have some free time. And there was a tray of ravioli, and I took it. I didn't really think anything of it at the moment. I got over there. There he was, Ravioli Boy, in person, again. And I was like, oh, hey, I know you. And he, they kind of looked at me, and then they're like, oh, yeah. And I was like, hey, Ravioli Boy, how are you? <laughs> I mean, I say it as if it was his real name, and maybe it is. Who knows? The day went well. Austin's deck rocks. I know you guys didn't get to see, but me and, uh, me and Austin play tested it uh, just a little bit before I had to go to work. To be fair, my hands sucked. They, they did, but Austin's deck really hauls. I mean, it is crazy. Abyssal Persecutor is a very nasty card, and there are plenty of easy ways to get rid of it. A Flying Trample 6-6 will really mess you up, and that card came out fast, and it was really hitting hard. So, uh, last last time we had did Constructed, um, Austin didn't do so well, because uh, his, his blue-white fly, or his blue-white control deck type thing it doesn't really have... The necessary cards from blue white for you non magic players blue and white are colors that contain some of the most expensive magic cards there are and to make a good blue white deck you need several of those cards and you end up spending hundreds of dollars on a handful of cards not even building the rest of your deck and it's it's absolutely ridiculous so austin went with this deck which is much 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 cheaper and uh something he can do and afford and that the people at Apocalypse Comics probably won't be expecting tomorrow night. So, I have a feeling he'll do very well. That's all I have to say for right now. It was a pretty good day. I always read your comments. So why don't you tell me how your day went? It doesn't have to be this day because by the time this gets uploaded it'll be a few days. Just tell me how you're doing. Tell me if anything interesting happened. 500 characters or less. I read every single comment. And if you want to reply from a comment, you just throw a question mark in there, and I normally reply. <laughs> if I don't reply, it's because I've forgotten or my internet's funky. So, yeah. Talk to me.